What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM and this is Evolution X 5.1 Eleanor and official build of course this is the 15th November 2020 build if you are noticing the build date over here and the size is about 1.42 GB here it says and this of course includes the G apps as usual and of course based on Android 11 and in the Android version section here if I tap the Android version over here as you can see this is still based on android 11 of course and let me go back we have the device name as redmi note 7 pro or valid and the evolution x version is 5.1 eleanor official build the security patch here is november 5th 2020 so latest security patch and the kernel version is per g kernel or the kernel name and build maintainer's name is yashin ali and we have the build date as 15th November 2020 build again and in the system section we do have a system updater too so you can check for updates and if you want to flash this ROM when you are decrypted you can just follow that video from the card right there to flash the ROM with decryption and in the gestures we will find a lot of things like these like swipe to screenshot or three finger swipe to take screenshot and as you can see you can edit share or delete the screenshot of course and it does work super fine and in the system navigation gestures if you go into the settings we have the gesture bar length so you can actually customize this spill bar length over here but not the thickness of it quite and there is of course the two and three button navigation and you can select this quickly open camera if you want to but the thing is there is no stock camera here by default on the redmi note 7 pro you do not get any stock camera by default on the evolution x rom so here i have installed the latest google camera and this is the version 8.1 or something and here as you can see this is how it looks like well it glitched for a couple of seconds over there but it has this like dynamic kind of zoom over here as you can see looks really cool and you can use it and night sight and stuff i have tested it it works super fine and it takes like pretty good pictures i would say and here let me actually quickly take one so as you can see these pictures do look really really cool and yeah night set and stuff everything works here and of course the front camera is working super fine with this camera but yes you have to install it separately i'll link it below in the description do not worry or you can also use the yearnings version of the google camera 7 so that's how it is and there is also this zoom for even the front camera too so yeah looks pretty dope i would say now talking about the comparison with the k20 pros evolution x and right now on the redmi note 7 pro I would say the K20 Pro's Evolution X is still like having bugs and the latest build which I flashed yesterday that was the 17th November build or something that had the call bug or like I could not place any calls with that ROM but here there is no bugs at all like that and of course everything is working let me actually show you. So in terms of Vault calls as you can see this is how the stock dialer looks like and it does work super fine and there is no call recording option but this is normal pixel dialer and it works super fine no issues there is a video call and speaker and hold option etc but vault calls are working super fine here no issues and the stock launcher over here is the pixel launcher still and to the left we have this google's discover page swiping up gets you to the app drawer and you can disable the suggestions on this app drawer and you can swipe down to get the quick settings panel and there is the widgets working super fine no issues and you can of course change the wallpapers there are live wallpapers and the evolution x papers app is there so you can change between a lot of wallpapers and talking about the quick settings panel again this is how it looks like it does have this screen recording option the android 11 screen recording option which has this like let me show you device audio and microphone audio both recording at the same time and there is the show touches on screen so stop dot and something like that lower quality file size you can have that if you want the file size to be lower quality of course or smaller so yeah this screen recorder is there there is also the oxygen is kind of screen recorder and you can use that too there is the resolution changing option and the bitrate changing option up to 24 mbps the number of frames you can change it to from here and audio source of course you can change that but here there is no option to like record microphone and the system audio simultaneously but you have to like select individually over here now on this quick setting panel like edit toggle i tried to find the fps info option but i could not simply find that over here 
for some reason the fps info is simply not there now in the settings panel this is how the settings panel looks like and of course we have the evolver and there are huge amount of customizations already but let me actually show you if you scroll down we have the violet parts so if i go over here there is the sl linux mode by default enforcing then we have the enable usb fast charge if you connect it to a usb 3.0 port it will charge up to 900 ma so that feature is there by the way the device of course like supports 18 watt fast charging without any issues and that works super fine here in the me sound enhancer we have you can enable it and of course we have these many presets of the headphones and i have been using it with the utrition sound quality is great even via bluetooth and the 3.5 mm headphone jack no issues with that and in the choose a preset option you can have it to rock jazz pop etc so me audio jack is there but it is hidden inside kind of this violet parts not in the sound settings so right now let me jump into the evolver and here is how the customization section looks like of course and in the about section we have a lot of things like you can donate to the developers of course from here and let me go back we have the status bar settings and clock and date customization is there simply the status bar clock you can have the date am pm everything over here just like i did and we have the battery bar settings so you can have a battery bar then we have the status bar battery indicator this is the like percentage and stuff enabling option and then in terms of battery style we have the icon portrait then circle dotted circle etc but there is no big dotted circle or big circle over here we have the traffic indicators you can enable it if you want to i use a separate app for this and in the icon manager we have the headset bluetooth etc icons and there is also the nfc icon then we have the vault e icon and this is showing up over there this is how the vault e icon looks like if you're noticing so yeah and we have the roaming indicator too let me go back and here inside notifications we have the heads up disabling option then key lab button etc is there then the in call vibration options are there so vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect you can have all of these then we have this like battery charging light or the notification led kind of thing you can enable it if you want to then inside quick settings we have the quick pull down by default the quick pull down is enabled from right side on evolution x right now and smart pull down is there vibrate on toggle touch is there brightness slider you can change the position of the brightness slider over here this brightness slider you can have it on the bottom or something then we have the column and row number customization over here so you can have the portrait and landscape customization for both column and row numbers and in the power menu we have this is just a hide on lock screen power menu so this is not the advanced reboot but let me actually show you inside power menu we definitely have this advanced reboot enabled i guess by default and here if you tap on advanced you can directly reboot to like normally restart then the fast boot mode or boot loader then you can directly reboot to recovery and there is the system ui reboot so advanced reboot is there and there is also this like smart controls of google home so i can turn on or off any bulbs over here like as you can see if you are noticing this area there was a light like which i turned on so yeah you can enable or disable this from here so these google home app smart controls are pretty fine in the gestures we have the usb gestures and if you go over here this is the system kind of gesture and screen of power and toggle torch is working super fine then there is the brightness control so i can just slide on the status bar to adjust or control the brightness this is a really interesting feature and i do use it on a daily basis and i don't really like have any problems with it it is working super fine so far let me go over here we have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and double tap to wake on doze mode and stuff like that let me go back we have the lock screen settings and here we do have this force fingerprint authentication that is what i like right now on evolution x that we have this force fingerprint authentication with this even if i reboot i can just tap the fingerprint scanner and the device will be unlocked even without me entering the pin so that is really great that i can just unlock or always unlock with the fingerprint scanner and that feature is really amazing there is also the screen of fingerprint this is not necessary for this device i guess because this is for like devices like k20 pro and we have the lock screen charging info then the charging animation you can change it to these many options and if you scroll down we have the media artwork and stuff like that music visualizer etc then inside navigations we have the system navigation gesture again and then we have the layout you can change the layout if you want to change the three or two button navigation then pixel animation is there then volume rocker wake is there click to like take partial screenshot is there if you want to enable that inside animations we have the disable transition the whole animation will be disabled i guess then we have the default screen of animation you can change it to crt or scale scrolling cache is there then animation style is there 
Then inside MISC, we have this wake up on charge, so you can disable it if you want to. Charging animation is there too, and inside USB configuration, we have this file transfer and stuff. So yeah, you can set it to like that. Inside battery, this is how it looks like. And of course, you can tap over here and see the full battery usage. And you can scroll down. There is the battery saver, adaptive battery, then screen on time, then last full charge. When you read that, then design battery capacity, current battery capacity, then charging cycles, and the battery temperature shows up over here. And talking about the battery life, I would say you can definitely get seven plus hours of screen on time with normal usage. And here in the screenshots, what you are noticing that I got five and a half hours of screen on time. Well, that involves a lot of like hours of video calls and the normal calls. So yeah, I got a really like not that great battery life. It might not look that great, but definitely I know I really use the device heavily. So that's why the battery life looks low, but it's actually not. You can definitely get seven to eight hours of screen on time easily. Now in the display settings, we have the brightness level, night light and adaptive or auto brightness. In the styles and wallpapers, we have these much themes. Let me go back. We have the screen timeout rotation settings. You can have the one HD rotation too. If you want that, then scroll down. We have the lock screen settings. And here you can have the always show time and info or always on display for something if you want that. Then we have the double tap to wake and we have the pocket detection. You can enable it or disable it if you want to. Inside dark theme, if you if you enable it, let me actually show you. So right now I have the dark theme enabled. Then you can choose the like color bucket over here. This is just the background if you want it to device default. It will show gray on the notifications and stuff like that. But otherwise it shows really dark over here. I have been using it with the Raven black looks really cool I would say. So with that you can just change the dark theme background. And here in the accent colors we have plethora of accent colors as you are noticing. Pretty much everything is there so no issues. And even Xiaomi Inferno Red etc. Evolution X Yolo etc is there. And we have the headline and body fonts. These are the fonts which are present. Not too many, but yeah, quite a uh, like number of fonts are there. And we have a lot of icon shapes too over here as you're noticing. Then inside sounds, if you go over here, we have the media call volume and ringtone volume, etc. And let me actually show you, this is how the volume panel looks like. I can expand it just like this. And yeah, you can change the volume panel position to show on the left side if you want to. Then vibrate for calls is there. And if you scroll down, we have these dial pad tones, screen locking sound, charging sound, charging vibration, etc. Disabling option. Even the screenshot sound disabling option is there. But of course, the Mi Audio Direct is inside that violet parts, not here inside the sound settings. Now, inside security, you do not get any like face unlock or app lock over here as of right now. But of course, the pixel imprint or the fingerprint settings is there. Let me actually show you. I'll just double tap to like put the phone into lock mode. And here I am tapping the fingerprint scanner. Just notice the fingerprint scanner speed. Let me do it again. And as you can see, the fingerprint scanner is really, really fast. And I had no problems with uh, like fingerprint scanner speed over here. And I would say it is so reliable that I did not have any issues with the fingerprint scanner so far. No issues with the fingerprint scanner pretty much. And if you're wondering about the DRM info over here, this is of course coming with security level one. So that means you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p without any issues on this ROM. And no problem so far using banking apps over here because the safety net simply passes so right out of the box. You can use Google Pay or apps like that over here, no worries. And with this LED RGB remote app, I have tested the IR Blaster over here and it is working flawlessly, no issues. If you are noticing this IR Blaster over here, it works super fine, no issues with that. Now while I'm showing you the benchmarks here is how the RAM management looks like. Let's open Facebook, Twitter, Play Store, Instagram and Google Home. Did I open YouTube? No. Now let's open Telegram and other apps like Amazon. Now what else? We have this MiFid app. So right now let's actually open a couple of apps over here from memory of course. And here as you can see all the apps are staying in memory it looks like. Let's open this. Okay. So seems like yeah all the apps are staying in memory. Let's open the Telegram app. Looks like Evolution X got an update for K20 Pro. I have to flash it of course. Let me go over here, the MiFit app, Amazon and yeah, all the apps are staying in memory it seems like. So 
I would say this is a really great option right now if you want to try out Android 11 right now on your Redmi Note 7 Pro this is a really great option. The Evolution X in my opinion is back again for the Redmi Note 7 Pro and this is really a stable experience what I am getting over here pretty much. Of course you have to install camera and stuff separately but otherwise I would say everything works like banking apps and you have the IR Blaster working everything else like the stability of this ROM is still great and you have the customizations like always unlock with the pigment scanner then brightness sliding option from the street bar and stuff so yeah i would say this is a really great option if you want to try the latest evolution x on your redmi note 7 pro you can definitely do that based on android 11. let me know in the comments what you guys think and share this video with your friends if you feel like so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now